there, this is trainer Julia, and welcome to 2022. It might end up being an effed up year, but that doesn't mean you can't get in shape. All right, we're gonna do a 15 move, no repeat hit. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be cool. So without further ado, let's do it. All right, we're gonna start with our first exercise. We're gonna do knees up. 45 seconds on, 15 seconds of rest. So we're just getting the heart rate going. If you need an alternative, you can just do those knees. But if you really want to get that heart rate going, add the arms. It's a beautiful day. We're on the beach. Keep it going. Okay, we're gonna do some mountain climbers next. Get down into a plank position. Get ready. So bringing in one knee at a time. Try to keep that back nice and flat. So we're working the muscles of the lower body. We're also working our abs and our shoulders because we're in that plank position. You can double it up. And you can also slow it down if you need an alternative. Get that heart rate going. Okay, we're gonna do some bicycle crunches. Get down on your back. Hands behind the head. So we're touching the opposite knee and elbow. If you need an alternative, you can just do those legs. But again, we're trying to get our heart rate going. Add the arms. You can also speed it up a little. You should be feeling that in your abs almost right away. We're going to get into a bridge. We're going to work the butt muscles. Squeeze up into that bridge. We're going to do about 10 on each side. 45 seconds, remember. And we do want to get that heart rate going. So try to speed it up and also push up. You should feel that in your butt. Let's switch legs. And you should feel it in the back of the legs. We're gonna target all the muscles of the body with this hit. Switch sides again. Lift and lower. You can also stay in that bridge if you need a rest position. Okay, we're gonna do a plank to down dog and a push up. So switch back over into that plank position. Up into a down dog, down into a plank, single push up, and then hold it. Do it again, push it up into a plank. Down dog, I mean, sorry. Back into that plank, single push up. Give you an alternative. Down dog to the knees, push up from the knees, get back up into that plank. Do it again. Down dog, plank, push it up, hold it, 
do it again. Down dog, plank, pick your level, a couple more. Stand it back up. We're gonna do some squats side to side. So we're just gonna do a nice simple side to side squat. So we wanna keep up the pace. Get that heart rate going. You can also do a little pulse on either side. This makes it that much more challenging. But keep it nice and bouncy. Keep that heart rate going. Nice flat back. Knees are not going over the toes. We're going to do some touchdowns next, standing nice and straight, get ready. So we're jumping it down and touching the ground. Opposite hand with each time. Here's your low impact version with no jumping. Or if you want to get that heart rate going, jump it, touch the ground. You can do it. We're going to work the shoulder muscles. at the edge of your mat. This is called a bear crawl. It works the shoulder muscles. The key to a bear crawl is try to keep your legs as straight as possible. That puts more of the effort onto your arms. So we're doing this move because it's one of the ways you could work the shoulder muscles without weights. We're using no equipment except a mat. Keep it going. And it's called the bear crawl because this is how bears walk. Okay, we're going to do another ab mood. Get down on your back. We're going to do a hollow man, flat on your back. So bring everything in, pull it out. Bring it in, pull it out and hold. Bring it in, pull it out. If it bothers your neck, you can rest your head on the ground and just hold it out there. Holding it in is your rest position, but try to hang out. Keep that back pressed as close to the ground as you can. Bring it in when you need a little rest. Push it back out again. Hold it. Turn it over. We're going to work the muscles of the back now. So we're going to lie on our back, we're lifting our head, and we're going to raise and lower opposite arms and legs. If you need to rest, you can rest it all on the ground and you can put your forehead on the ground. When you're ready to go again, lift and lower.
Keep it up. Burpee. Stand it up. We're going to do a burpee. Low impact burpee. Lift the arm down, one leg at a time in, one leg at a time out. Do it again. Burpees work every single muscle of the body. If you want a higher impact version, you can do a jump. Burpees are not fun, but they're highly effective as both a cardio and a muscle building exercise. We're gonna do a plank. on the elbows. Lift it up into a plank. Reach out one arm at a time. Very challenging to the core especially. Also to the shoulder muscles. If you need to rest, you can hold it up in that elbow plank. That's very challenging itself. Come on, we can do it. Stand it up. We're almost there. Let's do some jumping jacks. So everybody knows how to do a jumping jack. We've all done them. But if you can't do impact, what can you do? Low impact jumping jack. Still very effective as a cardio exercise. So pick your level. Totally fine if you can't do impact. You can still do these exercises. Should really be feeling that heart rate up now very close to the end. Just a few more. We're going to do some lunges. Stand at the top of the mat. We're going to rear lunge it back, one leg at a time. Try to keep the back as straight as possible. Try to keep those knees from going over the toes. We're working all the muscles in the lower body. Legs are getting tired. Last exercise, side to side toe touches. We're gonna make it. Arms in the air. Touch each toe. Lift the arms back up. Nice big arms, big movements. All right. If you're still with me, that's great. This has been a great 15 move hit workout. Worked every single muscle in the body. Keep it going.
Thanks for working out with me today. If you enjoyed this workout, please subscribe to the Trainer Julia channel, where you'll get a lot more workouts like this one. Short, 15 to 20 minutes, require little to no equipment, and can be done in your own home. All right, this is Trainer Julia saying thank you very much for watching, and have a fit day.